job in the street. Wait, wait, and in order like, to save money, we should, we should, um, like, stockpile a resources. Absolutely. Like, like, <laughs> like, one person, one person places the order so that they get the foil more special. Let's know? continue ignoring me, Dara. Wait, I'm sorry, what'd you, yeah, what'd you say? Yeah, do not, do not, do not entertain. Don't acknowledge me, don't worry about it. Do not entertain. Oh, boy. Wait, Zach is on Cloud? This is another Wi-Fi character, but aggressive? You think Cloud's aggressive? Do you think Cloud is aggressive? Oh, get aggressive. ready, buckle up! <laughs> You haven't seen Zack play Cloud. <laughs> Can't wait to see how he camps with this character. One day, I just want Zack and John to to play the number the numbers dubbies squad. I mean, numbers is bad at doubles, so I guess. you not like gone. doubles? Oh yeah, I've never seen numbers. Is also, that feeling into up smash. That was the fastest stock I've seen from a game and watch all evening. God bless. Never mind. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, numbers is awful at doubles. Ask anyone in the house. Uh, he's pretty bad. Like, I'm pretty bad too, but numbers is actually worse than I am. I love I love both of these characters and the other these out of shield. I just love it. It's it's the go too. You know, it's a tried and true. It's called tit for tat. You know, you hit me with your rubby out of shield, I hit you with my rubby out of shield. Wait, tits with tat? Tits Doesn't that tats. mean, like, if you go get a tattoo, you can pay by showing you boobs? Um... Isn't that what the expression is? I never means? heard of that expression. The expression is like that. Like, 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 people would go to the tattoo parlor and if they don't want to pay, they'll they'll say, like, tit for tat. Kind of like... It, it, no. Or am I making this up? You're definitely making this up. What? Okay. Oh, whatever. Anyways. Uh... I'm not making this up, I swear to god, I have heard this before like, somewhere. Uh-huh. That being said, both of these players are just like playing without each other's shields, and I think it's <gasps> hilarious. The bucket Those... break. So the deep. Bu the bucket stall, coming in, saving Pink Cage from getting Dunkaroo'd into the blast zone. Wait, no. Yeah, Pink Cage is just not able to get any of these... See, Pink Cage is doing the wrong thing. Instead of being like, yes, I'll hit you with your... I'll hit your up with my up He's like, I'm gonna try to hit you with other stuff. Like a fool! Yeah, you have to go You have to go tit foo tat on that one, I guess. I'm gonna start exactly. using that expression that way. Precisely, yes. Um, I like I like these baits that Zack is using. Like, oh! Oh, that was so good. He was so ready for that. He was waiting for Pink Cage to jump. He was covering it with the foil out, and then he was so confident that he was gonna mash out a down uh, as he lands that he was just like, "Okay, bet, I'm gonna play this." He was so comfortable there. Uh, I think that was super well played from Zach Numbers. So now the floor is lava for Zach. Why would you want to be on the ground against Game Watch? You're gonna force him to commit to a jump. You're covering yeah. his airspace with foil out. I think he's playing the matchup super well. He's getting yeah. all these foil. That is and able to get so much damage off of He's oh definitely God, playing he's at a good range, and he's like, Game Watch doesn't have a great option to kill you when you're near a him. The closest thing, honestly, is going to be down air, which that kind of forces him into the ground, so he has to reach you super hard. Mm, is he going to go for the kill? Yeah. Really? No? Really? I, I guess not. Game Watch does have one kill throw. I forgot which direction it is, because all of his kill goes look exactly the same, so I couldn't even tell you I think which it's back throw. Was. I mean, that was definitely up throw, but I think his back throw is just the one that kills. What if Game & Watch had Ness's back throw? Now we think about yeah. that. Why would you suggest that? I don't know. It's just like something that I think about sometimes. All right, let me get a uh, side B at the ledge. <laughs> okay. I mean, Zach uh, holding a pretty decent lead. Not incredible, but decent. I, I don't know. I think 100% is a fantastic lead. One good back lead, one good F smack. One good F smash. Yep. Look at that. Oh, I am on top. Whoa. I mean, Zach has always uh, been a player that plays to win. So, you know, definitely played the matchup smart. He doesn't want to yeah. go Sonic, I guess, because of uh, Chef. So, I got confirmation from Chef that, that it is down throw for Game & Watch. That's the kill throw. I will remember that for the future. Kind of similar to Corlin, who down throw uh, kills as well at like really, really high percents. I know that for the fact. They're up there kills too, though, isn't it? You're asking me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure up there still kills.
I love Yubi also being like, bro, you're playing Game Watch. Of course he's laming you out. So we have a uh, Intunist with, I think I got 7th in Xeno Wi-Fi tonight. My post bracket salty tweet is that Pikachu's dash attack and up throw have no business killing. At the very least, <laughs> not both of them. <laughs> that is all. Wait, wait. I, that is hilarious to me. What is Pikachu supposed to do for kills? Like, I don't know, F smash? I mean, That's just the it? fact that I, I kind of I kind of commiserate with that, with the fact that Pikachu has... It's like, it's the, unre it's the unreactable 50-50 kind of thing. It's like, yeah, I'm going to choose one or the other. If you guess wrong, you die. Like, oh, uh, I haven't been it, killed by Pikachu's up throw in a solid minute, though. I feel, I, you have to be like a pretty high percent, right? Like 140? Yeah, like 140, 150. But I mean, that's not that high in the grand scheme of things, considering how much damage output Pikachu that's has. That's pretty high. Yeah, you know when Ness's back yeah. throw kills? You know when he can kill? You know when he can kill Ness? It can kill Pichu at 88. Yeah. It can kill Pichu at 88. What I'm, say, what I'm trying to say is the fact that, like, yeah, it does kill, but it's for a character that quote unquote has trouble killing. Having a uh, having a kill throw that's guaranteed above like 180 is very unusual. Whatever, that's not a part of this matchup. We have two characters that have no problem killing right now. I'm not sure why uh, Zach decided to go Ganon. Getting off of the corner, getting back to stage is going to be such a hassle in this matchup. I do not know how he's going to do it. I mean, he might not, honestly. Ooh, that was really smart. He waited out, like, the chef a little bit. He hit it on purpose with the side B. That was smart. You know, he, he took the trade. He took the hit a little bit. Um, also, on my end, it kind of looks like Game Watch is disappearing into the background. This is Kali. is a little bit similar to that, a final destination. Also, yeah, did I, I mention I'm Kali blind? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What do you uh, see when you see green? <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate you so <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not even trying to be mean, it's just really funny when people, when people found out that uh, Mike Kirby was colorblind. People kept asking him what colors look like, and it's like, what do you expect in the answer? <gasps> that extended ad smash! Oh, good. <laughs> Wait, is, I, I've already lost track of time. Is this game one or game two? This is game two. Remember, Cloud. For some reason, I already felt like that was game two and that game one was Cloud. I don't know why. Time moves, time moves slowly. What is Ganon doing supposed to do? Oh no! Is that it? No, he got the weak hit. He was too close. Mm. Ah, that was smart. But, but, yeah. Obviously that's gonna be oh. like an- There's always gonna be the element of a coin flip there. <gasps> Goes for the air dodge read. He had the air dodge read, but not the directional air dodge. Only the neutral. Um... Wow, that space death smash is so crazy. He had a good read on the way that he was gonna dash in as well. Um, and, and it's kind of ridiculous that, you know, Pink Cage basically has to respect that. You know, people don't talk about like the way Ganondorf is able to get shield breaks. Um, with, oh my god, that was such a good tech. Yeah, no, he was gonna die otherwise. Very smart. Like, like I, especially, especially with up smash. Oh, he All went for two up smashes. So scary. The wind box actually deleting the bomb. How many more nice. smash attacks is he gonna go for? He's gonna go for as many as he needs until he gets the kill, or he dies. And then even after he dies, he's probably gonna keep going for more. Uh, I wanted the side B. I wanted to see the side B. Uh, he had the right idea by dashing back a little bit, but he overcommitted to the jump, tries to anticipate the missed tech, but you cannot count, you know, Pink Cage out like that. Let me get a Ganon up B on the stage to kill. Oh, he was going for it. I saw it. Use some down B just to give yourself a little bit more <laughs> horizontal drift. Give yourself closer to the stage. However, at this point, Game & Watch can basically die to anything. Dash attack into whatever. Um, up smash, F smash. You know, Ganon, the next hit that he gets will probably kill. Yeah, but you know, Ganondorf is uh, going to take a lot of damage trying to get that. Mm -hmm. Exact numbers go Ganondorf. That's a good question. I asked the exact question at the start of the match. I mean, I mean, I asked it in my head. I, I didn't hear you at all. Once again, I choose to ignore you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good idea. So.
so that's actually really smart from Zach Nambly. So every so um, projectiles of Chef, there's going to be like a little bit of a pause between the next one. I believe it's either five or six. Um, and that just like shows like how adept Zach is or knowledgeable is in the matchup. He waited for it so that he could give himself the opportunity to neutral get up. That being said, he needs a hit right now. Get it. Ooh, ah, good misses the wait. That was a really good way for Pink Cage. I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit the ground, but I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna actually roll in a little bit afterwards because I'm expecting you to do a, a forward option. Mm -hmm. Good use of the jump then just to, you know, go above. Game and Watch's attempt to edge guard. He has re grabbed the ledge, but Ooh. the bomb still not able to connect. Made the most out of his vertical, like, uh, speed upwards. Completely avoiding it. He needs to find a way to land. Smart idea just to go right back to the ledge because uh, Pink Cage was easily preparing himself to cover <laughs> something back to stage. I'm sorry. Did the turtle just. He skilled back air like that? This is depressing. Is it depressing? I don't, I don't know what I want more. I don't know. I... This is this is the third match that I've commentated here. This is like the second or third match, right? Second or third set. And I feel like I've aged a couple of years. I'm now no longer a fetus. I have evolved into a toddler. Or grown into a toddler. I don't, I don't think I've evolved. You've reverted. I don't know, it was just it was like a slight increase, you know, from fetus to toddler. The, the human stages of growth. First comes the fetus, then comes the toddler, and then you become an adult. I see. If Benjamin Button had commentated the previous set, he would have poofed out of existence. He's saying he would have turned into the weird. My God. Which he went from being a wrinkly old baby to being a uh, smooth young man. <sighs> Please stop breathing okay. into the mic. It's oh, very. I'm not breathing into the mic. I was just, I was just prepping myself for this upcoming game. Game three. Oh God. It is currently one-one. Zach Nambly says opted for Sonic. Such a Zach thing to do to be like, yeah, one game one is cloud. That was kind of interesting. You know, it's even more interesting. Is he <laughs> bored? Is he just bored? What's going on with him? I don't know. I don't know what he is. I can't. I can't tell if he hates himself. He hates the opponent. He hates the game. Well, he just really, really loves this game so much, and you know, he's he's, he's having the time of his life. I feel like Sonic players fall into one of three categories. Either they really like Sonic, or they're sadists, or they're just like little kids. Could be all okay. three. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they could be all three. I know, I know people who love Sonic and, and they're still pretty sadistic. Yeah, I can see that. I, I know some sadistic six-year-olds that love Sonic. I don't know about sadistic six-year-olds, but but I said Sonic really, lovers I said kids. <laughs> Never mind. That being said, I like the way that Zach is approaching um, Game Watch's shield in the matchup. He's sort of coming in with his spin dash and using his up B as like a last frame, like escape option, um, and thus he is able to get like a little bit of punish with his spring. That being said, just about any point, this could be either you know police and stock. Sonic definitely does struggle to get a kill sometimes, so he's looking to set something up with these falling downers. He's looking for just about anything at this point. He's looking for the back here. Just, just, just waiting out through the perfect time uh, for the pink cage to push in a little bit too far. These juggles from pink cage are excellent. He's just getting so much damage this way. Um, every set that I've seen him play in, like that's I want to say like a good a third of his damage has been from his upper juggles. Yeah, I really appreciate the uh, the counter punches for pink cage. Like he's uh, he has his back to the blast zone. He might not necessarily make it back. Hey, he looks. What did he die to? Nair? Is that Nair? Mm -hmm. Alright, now the question is like, how is Pink Cage gonna steal up the stock? Because we saw in the last match, when he was fighting a super evasive opponent like Malshrat. Never mind! Yeah, just uh. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can't really That's agree all with I have that. Hmm. <laughs> 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 it's a very, very slow, like, intonation of disappointment. I mean, I respect the fact that, um, I mean, I'm convinced had the... Zach did this to punish us. I am convinced Zach did this to punish us. He won with Cloud. What was the issue with Cloud? Not only did he just win with Cloud, I think he won so pretty confidently, too. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty good on his end. Maybe he was just afraid of uh, Pink Cage figuring out the matchup. Maybe he just doesn't care. Maybe he's a sadist. It's fine. I mean, he's forcing him to always stay on his toes. He's forcing him to go from, from Cloud to Ganon to Sonic. And I can't think of, like, you know, a bigger difference in, in matchups than those three. You pace those completely differently. And so there's always going to be, like, a learning curve from game to game. Or, like, a bit of an adjustment period. Yeah. It's really interesting to watch Pink Cage play and be like, yeah, he's still, like, super aggressive, even though he has really no reason to. Mm-hmm. Like even when he has the lead, like, killing the lead. yeah, that felt is pretty strong overall. Well, I really admire the way that he got off of ledge though. I really oh. like that a lot. Just avoiding the chef doesn't want to get hit at all. Goes so deep. Game Watch is still able to make that back. Such an excellent recovery on the Pink Cage's part. He just and barely he survived that too. Mm -hmm. It was an excellent attack. Well, I don't think it was attack, but no, he bounced off. He just he bonked. He, he just didn't bonk anybody. It was a very weak stage fight, but he was still like in a really precarious position. You know, like you see, like Pink Cage is not hanging back; like he's going for the aggressive option, like nine times out of ten. Even when it would be like to his benefit, try to hold back a little bit. I think the funny part is that no matter who wins this, we're not going to see another super campy match uh, because Beast is going to do everything in his power to try to, to make it as aggressive he's gonna, he's as possible. He's going to keep on pressing for it, without a doubt. Yeah, he's definitely in the press forward gang. Oh my god, that would have been it. I'm sure Pink Cage is kicking himself for not just off smash when he hit the, mm -hmm. the home attack. Yeah, he definitely had ample time, but I feel like Pink Cage is going for the up smashes all the time except for like when he needs it most and that's to punish a really laggy out of shield option. That being said, yeah. it might be difficult to react and, and you know see which option they did on time. This is oh, a good sure. lead. This is a lead. He has a stock up. Game and Watch has to not only find a kill, but be able to deal 31% within a minute and 33 seconds. This is definitely going to be a challenge for him right now. And, you know, even though it's slight, the, the percent difference between the two only increases. These are really good, like, bits of chip damage uh, from here and out from, from Zach. And the game is really starting to run away from Pink Cage at this point. Again, he's like waiting out through those platforms, landing on it, avoiding Chef completely. He doesn't want to get hit at all. He doesn't want to get hit with Chef into dash attack. I mean, honestly, I've n I haven't seen a lot of people play the Game & Watch matchup with so much knowledge, quite like Zach. We're not going to be getting the timeout. Yeah, went super deep for that one. Let's do that again sometime. And that's like one of the first times that Zach has extended up that far off stage, too. <sighs> Please go, Cloud. I beg you. Do it. He <laughs> might. We have come to the point where I have deemed Cloud more exciting than another character. Truly, we live in the darkest timeline. This is the darkness. <laughs> It's like, how did we get here, guys? What did we do to deserve this? How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I forgot the rest of the lyrics. I can't actually continue on to that. I'm sorry. I studied it, and I can't finish it. <laughs> I've come so far, I think. I, I just saw a tweet of a dog statue that's been polished because so many people kept petting it, like on the snout. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? And then like the the one in Hokkaido of the uh, of the Shiba Inu one, mm -hmm. that people are like, yeah, people polished his paws because it's too high to poop the snoot. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's 
freaking cute, guys. It's adorable. I love it. Let's go find that. Oh my god, why are they arguing in the chat, guys? Wait, who's arguing in the chat? What's happening? Zach and Pinkage. Pinkage is like, I don't want to play the camp game anymore. I play this party game, this game partly to have fun. I don't want to camp for hours to win zero dollars. Which is, yeah, that's fair. And then Zach is like, using Game of Watch, best up beyond Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm Zach gonna go encode them to play Ness. I'm gonna tag them, and I'm gonna go tell them to play Ness. Pinkage, at, um, um, Zach. If one of you guys plays Ness in this upcoming match, I will donate ten dollars to a charity of your choice. This sure is not a joke. This is not a drill. And this isn't coaching. This is this is just me, you know, making another donation bounty. Anyways, I just wanted to, you know, tell chat, I really appreciate you guys for, for sticking it out. You know, we, we've definitely had some tough times. Uh, and, you know, maybe hopefully this will be over sooner rather than later. Things are starting <laughs> to reopen. Yeah? A little bit? No, I don't think so. I mean, New Jersey is, is, is you know, totally opening up at, at yeah, this some, point. And some weird people. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Jersey, my bad. I'm not gonna comment on that. If people wanna, people feel comfortable reopening. That's all. That's not. Mm -hmm. That's not our business. No, no, I'm not. I'm not telling like house is gonna reopen immediately, but I'm just like saying like we definitely don't agree with have the like, some sign of return to normalcy, like some signs that it's gonna be happening at least sometime in the near future, and not gonna be extending for years on that. So that's. I mean, the yeah, I mean, I feel like it's really presumptuous to try to do that right now. But that's just my opinion, and that's not. I don't control anybody in the community, so if you want to try to do it, mm -hmm. uh, I hope people don't get sick. That's my big concern. Yeah, that's everybody's concern. And ultimately, it took it to Smashville. This is a really tiny stage. I want to be staying up all in, all in each other's faces. Um, and this is already like a much more aggressive game. What a wait with that charge spin dash. That was excellent. Yeah, every time like Sonic runs into a shield like that, you basically have to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. You don't know if he's gonna go jump, you don't know if he's gonna go for the spring, you don't know if he's gonna try to cancel it with a down air. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely not a place you wanna be in. You don't wanna be constantly trying to play out of shield against Sonic. You you wanna... You need to pressure him and you need to corner him in such a way that he doesn't have the time to just roll up on you like that. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that like a lot of characters don't have... Don't have like the full arsenal for rock, paper, scissors. When they're fighting mm -hmm. Sonic, some characters legitimately cannot fight Sonic. Some, some on not, even ground. They just have paper. They literally just have paper sometimes. You no, know, like, are you gonna throw a rock now? Because if you throw a rock now, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, you didn't? Damn. I guess I have to guess again whether you're gonna throw a rock or not. All right, uh, Zach, with a pretty decent lead now, actually. Nah, no camping this time. No camping this time. No camping <laughs> this JK. time. Jk. Jk. <laughs> Yeah, That's because uh, he said, "Psych." I don't care if it's Smash film. I don't care if it's the smallest stage. I'm still gonna camp. I'm still gonna go to the other corner. Cause I have a stock up. I'm gonna force Pink Cage to approach me. Wow, that down air killed so early. Yeah, that was terrible DI. I tried to just DI. Some of the worst I've ever seen. It was that awful. Was horrible. I'm very disappointed, Pink Cage, for not going for the for the judgment off the down throw. Sometimes you gotta pull out the action replay. You gotta, you gotta plug it in the game shark. You know, you got you gotta get like shiny Jugashis on Good 37. You guys gotta do it sometimes. You gotta hack it. They gotta hack the game, guys. Come on. You know, sometimes like you gotta you gotta take melee, you gotta mod it so it's a specific button combination that you can press so that Pichu becomes overpowered. Someone actually did this at a tournament. Yes, and oh my god, everything about that was so cool too. Like they modded a GameCube. He modded the actual um, excuse me, the actual disc files by plugging in his controller. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. And the fact that he could only activate it by doing very specific things. And he still got caught, but whatever. 
Yeah, that being said, this is a pretty good lead for Zach right now. It looks like this game is gonna be, the set is gonna be over sooner rather than later. Unless, you know, Pink Cage is able just to like really pull something out of the blue right now. Oof. You know, Zach definitely kind of has to give him the stock to, to lose it very quickly. Mm -hmm. Nice, the space to F tilt as well. I don't even think an up yet of shield would have connected on that and effectively catching the goal inwards too. Zach is yeah. very much done Pink Cage's head right now. You know, Zach is playing to win, man. Pink Cage is not in the mood to go through another, like, super slow set. He doesn't want to go through it anymore, you know? I mean, He's I respect tired. wanting to enjoy the game that you're playing. But sometimes, like, you gotta just wade through it to, to get to the people that you actually want to fight. <laughs> and I if you're not so. willing to do that, that's when you lose. Yeah, this is still, like, somewhat doable for the Pink Cage, you know? I feel like leads in Ultimate can be, like, they, they fluctuate all the time, you know? Yeah, um, no, you can definitely evaporate. But, like, it's Sonic, and when Sonic is, like, holding a lead properly, it can be really tough to, uh, it can be really tough to make it back. He's just dashing in and out, dashing in and out, waiting to, for, to, to hit Pink Cage with something. He's waiting for him to press one button that he shouldn't, and once he finds that, um, that'll definitely be a kill. Either like spin dash into Florida, either or just like hitting him with a raw back here and F smash just about anything. Oh Think god, why uh, is he allowed to kill. move like that? He's he's schmoofing. He's schlipping and sliding. Yeah, he's, he's, he's putting an SH before all of his uh, 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 verbs. Oh my god. It doesn't stop. There yeah, there it is. One jump call out, all he needed, 150% more than enough to be able to take out Game Watcher's stock. And with that being said, that means Zach Nambles is going to be going on to fight Beast in winner's side of Grand Finals. I am going to go punch a wall after that. I will be right back. No, at least pick Brick and put on your boxing gloves. And also, like, grab your teddy bear. I assume you have a teddy bear. Yeah, shout out to Pink Cage. You actually had like one of the best losers runs of the entire tournament, and I think Devin owes him a, su a sub. All right. So we're gonna get this ready for Beast. So we have Beast versus Zach coming up next. 